And we are joined now from Port St. Lucie, SNY's Kevin Burkhart. Kevin, Michael, and Don here. How you doing? See you guys, or I guess hear you in this case. I'm great. How are you? We're doing very well. Well, not that Obviously well. a little bit not better than that I, well. Well, Don's a little upset, so we want to know exactly what the deal is with Jonathan Neese. I mean, guys, it wouldn't be a Met spring training without an MRI tube. I mean, come on, that's that's how things go around here. I mean, you know, I, I'm a little surprised by it, to be honest. I mean, yesterday I was talking with him, and um, you know, he said he felt fine. He just told me that um, it was a little slower, you know, warming up. It took him a little longer getting loose. So he had some extra exercises to do to kind of get it ready. Uh, you know, you remember he had that partial tear last year that he rehabbed. It cost him about six, seven weeks, but he came back. Uh, you know, he pitched pretty well when he came back. So it really kind of alleviated the fears of something being wrong after he rehabbed it. And, you know, again, yesterday he said it felt fine, said he was just doing some extra work to stretch it out. He did say yesterday to me, uh, which I hadn't heard before, that it wasn't the ligament, it wasn't the actual rotator cuff that, that tore, that it was muscles around the rotator cuff, which I had not heard at all last year. So, you know, I don't know if this is just, um, you know, him not feeling great and wanting to get peace of mind, but um, it's a little bit out of left field. The Mets, uh, you know, announced it at noon kind of out of nowhere. And to be honest, um, I think anytime you hear not only an MRI, but heading back to New York, so that means you're seeing the team doctor. Uh, it's just, it's not a good thing. I mean, rarely does good news come out of it. So hopefully this case, it's just peace of mind for him and, and he can move on, but we'll see. All right, let's assume the worst, Kevin, and he's not ready for opening day. Who can fill in? Who can jump in in this rotation and take advantage of him missing out at the beginning of the year? Well, Donnie, I think everybody in the world, of course, wants to hope it's going to be Noah Syndergaard, but it's not going to be him. I mean, I'd be stunned if it's him. I mean, he's got the tools, but I just don't think he's ready yet. I think it, I think it would behoove them to, to send him down to AAA for a little while, and, and that formula has worked the last couple of years. You know, that being said, if he's got a great camp, um, it'll be hard to ignore uh, they've got a lot of young arms in camp. I know that they love the veterans. They love Matt Zizaka. I mean, God, I can't go crazy over two bullpen sessions. I'll tell you that right now. But, I mean, they love him. They, they say he looks great, and I think he's got the lead. You know, they've got Lannon in there, the ex-national that's fighting for it. Um, and I think Mejia's got a really good shot. You know, he had five starts last year before he got banged up, and he looked really good. Um, you know, but I think the veterans are going to have the first chance uh, for sure, and we'll see how it plays out. Now, let's say that uh, they shut him down for a little bit. And, and worst-case scenario, he's not ready to start the season. We're talking about Nice. Does that mean Bartolo Colon just uh, slides up and takes number one spot against the Nationals? I mean, I, Michael, I'm putting Zach Wheeler there. You know, I mean, I, I don't – Really? I, I, I do. I don't know if the team's going to do it. But I'm telling you what, you know, the whole premise – of this whole thing, for the last three, four years, all we've heard is about building this team about around young pitching. And granted, we've seen some of it, surely. And, and you know, there's a lot of it in camp, which is kind of cool. A lot of these homegrown kids in camp, in years past, it's been all minor league free agents or guys they've picked up on waivers. This year it's different. They've got a ton of young guys that they actually drafted in camp, which hasn't been the case in the eight years I've been on the job. Um, but, you know, I, I think um, – I, I just think, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I think that's the way it's going to go. I mean, we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but I, I, I would have to give it to Wheeler. I think if that's the if that's the way you're going to go and that's the edict you're going to sell to the fans, why would you give it to Bartolo Colon? I mean, he's here because Matt Harvey got hurt. Let's face it. And if Zach Wheeler is one of the building blocks of this team and maybe the future co-ace with Matt Harvey, why not start him on opening day? Let's see how he handles it. That's what I would do. Would it be a big deal for them if they didn't have a lefty in the starting rotation? I mean, I think it's nice to have the lefty to break it up, Donnie. You know, I mean, I, I, I do. I mean, and they don't really have another option there um, to, to put in that rotation. You know, Lannon is, is certainly had good numbers in his career against left-handers, but, um, you know, he's not on the level of Jonathan Neese right now. You know, Neese is a solid, solid number three starter, I think. So uh, I like the lefty. I like that he breaks things up. And, um, yeah, I think it is a big factor if he's not ready. John, with uh, Kevin Burkhardt of SNY here on the Michael K Show, Michael K and Don LaGreca, I'm just, I, I want to get a sense uh, if the Mets, after hearing this news, uh, I'm not sure if all the players are still there because it wasn't a game today, but is there that here we go again, what was me feel around the Met camp today because of the knee situation? You know, there wasn't yet, Michael, because simply, I think it took a lot of people by surprise. You know, you usually you kind of get rumblings or an idea of these things and have an idea maybe this is going to happen, but... You know, I don't think many people really did. This is something that happened today that Nice kind of, you know, went over to Dan Worthen and, and said, you know what, I don't know. I'm just not feeling right about this thing. Maybe I should get it checked and um, to get his head right. So there wasn't that, 
that feeling throughout. But it's truthfully hard not to feel that way. I mean, the, the, the medical luck that this team has endured, or lack thereof, it's been incredible. And, you know, I think last year with Harvey, you kind of felt like before he got hurt, like, man, this is the one guy who's finally breaking the mold. You know, and Mets fans felt, you know, we have our superstar. We finally have, like, our our guy. And then he goes and gets hurt. And it's it's been the thing. You know, and I'll tell you one thing. If Nietzsche is out for a long time, you're going to look back and wonder why he did not get surgery on that on that issue last year. So we'll see. Hopefully it's not a, it's not a huge issue. 